Dear Eva, dear European Mineralogical Union members, dear earth scientists around the world and participants of the Goldschmidt 2021, it's a great honor to receive the 2020 Research Excellence Medal of the European Mineralogical Union. Receiving this medal came as a surprise, and I feel this medal can not only belong to me, it belongs to all the great senior and young scientists I've been working with over the past years. I started my career as a student at the University of Münster in Germany under the supervision of Thorsten Geisler, Andrew and Christine Putnis and Klaus Metzger, who introduced me into the amazing world of mineral science. I moved on to the University of Oslo in Norway to do a PhD with Horkon Osterheim and Björn Jampweit at the Center for Physics of Geological Processes. At PGP, I had the chance to work in a highly collaborative environment between earth scientists and physicists. I will always remember the intense discussions with Andreas Beinlich, Jörn Höfelmann, Tim Jorn, Paul Meekin and Yuri Podlachikov, to name a few, around many different aspects of earth science and coupling to physics. It was the Marie Curie ITN Delta Min, led by Andrew Putnis, that showed me and, and many other students the broad applicability of fluid mineral interactions from fundamental geological processes to societal relevant issues. But besides all the science, networking, being a team was at the forefront of everything we did and everything I actually still do. Solving complex earth science problems needs teamwork and a team with different backgrounds, being at scientific backgrounds or cultural backgrounds. After completing my PhD in Oslo, I had a unique chance to move to the Department of Earth Science at Utrecht University to become an assistant professor. In Utrecht, Martin Dury gave me the chance to build my own independent line of research, something amazing for a young scientist. But also slightly scary, I must say, as I quickly had to adopt a career between science and teaching. I guess what unites all my career stages is that I was always in a multidisciplinary environment that promotes teamwork and open science. This sponsored my curiosity and led me down research endeavors understanding fluid mineral interaction from the outcrop to the nanoscale, from mid-ocean ridges to subduction zones, to shallow crustal systems and shallow crustal folds. To all the young scientists listening, I would like to encourage everyone to stay curious, work in a team and be open to science. Open science meaning open discussions, but also opening up data and laboratories is for me one of the cornerstones in solving future earth science research questions. As such, I've been collaborating with a broad range of scientists through transnational access to our electron microscopy facility in Utrecht, and I hope many more future collaborations will come. Last, I would like to thank my family, especially my wife Helen, who has always been there to support me. As a scientist couple, it has not always been easy to be across continents but it's fantastic to see that dual careers in science are possible and I hope we can motivate others. Thank you very much for the 2020 Research Excellence Medal of the European Mineralogical Union.